Uh, welcome back everybody to WCS America Premier League round of 32 as we are getting closer and closer towards the end of our round of 32. Just two more best of threes to go Nate. But you guys just saw a cool little promo about Tespa. Nate, what is it all about? Tell the people at home. You guys, uh, the video laid things out pretty nicely. Tespa is an organization, of course, partnered with Blizzard and universities all around the United States of America, bringing you, college students, the opportunity to get a little bit more involved with your local esports communities. You basically, if you don't, if there's no chapter at your university, you can start one yourself. You can get partnership and support for things like running viewings of WCS tournaments. Maybe you guys want to host a barcraft or something like that in your local area. These are the kinds of people you want to talk to. You can get a little bit more in touch with what it really means to run an esports event, to run an esports organization, and then eventually, you know, one of those people that say, "Hey, I'd like to work." With, uh, with StarCraft in the future, I'd like to work more on the esports side of things, events, production. These are the kinds of you know, experiences that let you get um, you know, your resume up for these sorts of things. Just a great way to get involved with the community. And TESPA, definitely worth checking out. You know, even if, like I said, it's not at your school, not too hard to, to get into. Nope. Very well said, Nate. Couldn't have done it any better myself. That's why I let you do it. We are getting ready as we uh, got the lobby up. Both players are good to go. It is going to be played on King Sejong Station. It's going to be a TVT between Bomber and Major. Now, Major has defeated Paul already a couple of times over the course of the last few months. Last time they played even 3 to nothing. So we know that Major's TVT is good. But we also know that Bomber is something different in general. Not necessarily a better play than Bolt, as I think they're both amazing, but just different. Yeah. Uh, different is the best way to describe Bomber. Mm -hmm. Build orders are a bit crazy. TVT doesn't have too much room for craziness because you can pretty much... I think everything is standard in TVT. Like, there's no wrong way to play the matchup. So it kind of lets you flex your personality a little bit more as far as those build orders go. But... It's time to find out as we are loaded into the first map of our winner's match. The winner of this best of three does move on to the round of 16 of WCS America Premier League. And our yep. first player in the bottom right position, Sport and Blue, who defeated Puck in his first series of the day. Representing Root Gaming, he is Major. And over here on the left up side of the map, we have Red Bull's very own Bomber. Bomber, of course, the recent champion of the Battlegrounds in Atlanta, collected a lot of WCS points for himself, and is overall looking very good in the WCS rankings. Currently sitting on the seventh spot. Uh, so, of course, the final 16 will qualify for the big WCS Grand Finals, which will be held later this year at BlizzCon. So Bomber is looking good to make a reappearance two years in a row to go all the way. Yeah, I think that was a very important pickup, uh, his his performance in Battlegrounds Atlanta. It really helped secure his uh, position, I think, in the top 16 of overall WCS rankings. And, of course, I think there's a lot of people, Roddy, that want to see Bomber at BlizzCon. Yep, and I think there are a lot of people of Red Bull who want to see him win in Atlanta as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that does make you look good when, when you, you have, when when you have you one player. When you win your own sponsor's <laughs> tournament. <laughs> when you have one player and he actually ends up winning your own tournament, you're like, you know what, today was a pretty good day for us. Either way, Bomber is going to open up with a refinery over here on the left up side of the map. So it could be a very quick factory opening for him. Could also be a Reaper opening, but that would be a tiny bit surprising, wouldn't it be, Nate? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a pretty standard build, I think, in this matchup. Major got his gas a little bit faster, though, before his barracks even. So we are going to see that three-minute or so factory come out from him. 303. 303. Haven't listened to that in a long time, Roddy. But I think you're just about on the money. 2.59. Uh, wow. Damn. Major, Major just break point. the world record of quickest factory ever. Major is on point. I think Ruff has probably found like the actual fastest way that no one's realized yet. I mean, obviously there's a faster way, but then you would completely destroy your own economy. Well, that's, that's why I said Ruff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kappa. So Marine into Reaper. This is... You know what? Actually, I'm not even going to say that this isn't really that standard because it seems like a lot of people are doing this recently. Mm-hmm. Keeps, yep. uh, keeps your opponent on their toes. And of course, changes the scouting time of the Reaper. So there's actually a chance that he gets to see more than your first Reaper does. Because the first Reaper will often yeah. get pushed away by Marines there's immediately. There's usually not much there when yeah. your first Reaper shows up anyway. With and a standard Reaper yeah. opening, I mean. And of course, then your opponent knows that you have a Reaper. So now it's gonna, this Reaper is going to arrive in the phase in the game where Bomber is not really expecting a Reaper anymore. So there is a chance that Major will see a tiny bit more. 
and above all, like you said, more useful things. Because yeah, seeing a Rex in a factory, that's one thing. But seeing the second refinery and seeing the add-on that's being chosen on either the factory or the starport, that's going to tell you a lot more about which opening you are facing. Yeah, and at this point, uh, with both players going straight to starports, getting tech labs, we could see Banshee, we could see Raven. Um, but Major is going to try to get that scout off as his Reaper does jump into Bomber's base. This is the first scout either player is doing this game. He sees the tech lab on that factory, sees double gas, and I think this screams Banshee. Yep. I, mean, I mean, he can go Raven. Raven. That's, that's like the only real flexible option you have at this point. Someone like Polt might be daring enough uh, in, in that series. I guess we could look back to that grand final against Bomber where he went for a fast tank play. But even yep. that is not necessarily common. Yep, Major is going to open up with the Raven over here, though, on the right bottom side of the map. So let's see where uh, where Bomber is going to take this. Actually, it's Raven on either side. All right, now that's so Raven. All right, so <laughs> what are it's a rave party over here, Nate. Right? It's a rave party in King Sejong. Something else that's very often a party on King Sejong Station is both players abusing the way that this map has been laid out because of this destructible debris. It is fantastic if you can get a couple of tanks up over here, shoot at this refinery and you'll most of the time be in the range of these two small mineral patches as well. Makes it very annoying if your opponent is able to secure that position. So what you often see is this very awkward dance where both armies avoid each other in the middle of the map and they're doing it to each other at the same time. That just happened for a major against Supernova a couple of days ago yeah. when they were playing together in a small little show match. Yeah, that was a tough one. That, may, that show match was, was pretty tough for Major, especially. Yep. Two command centers in the way for Bomber, so he's going full greed out of this. He's like, open 1-1-1, one, 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 be really, really defensive and cut economy, and then go full economy. So he's going full Bomber. Yeah, that's that's a Bomber build right there. That's Bomber, like, yeah, no, this is actually a Bomber game, Nate. Seven minute mark, and Bomber has seen about as far as is natural. <laughs> and he's just like, it's the only thing he does. The other day, we were going to dinner with DRG and MMA, and uh, we were talking just about a bunch of Korean pros, and we asked him what they thought about Bomber, and it's like, Bomber, it's like, one Rex, three CC, Mew, 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 attack, 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 attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they described Bomber. I was like, well, you're not technically incorrect, because <laughs> they're, they're like, Bomber, no scan, ever. Like, yeah, I, I guess they have a point. <laughs> Bomber has, if Bomber has a second barracks before his third command center, then, you know, we have to, like, make sure he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> then he then he's been running out of Red Bull and crazy things are happening to him. Yeah. Like so I just didn't have my daily amount of doses what I need. Major's gonna switch his factory onto the reactor. He's gonna start building Hellions. This is interesting. I mean, he could have started Stim though. He could have put that barracks in the tech lab. Is he not? No, he's is he gonna, gonna go back? I mean, Major okay. mechs quite often on this map. Yeah, that's true. It's not that shocking. Major's been. I just feel like I've seen Major do I less like, mech recently. That's all. I really like what Bomber does over here. Bomber starts working on this debris immediately. He's I think like, well, that if, makes he's seen, sense. if he's ever seen Major play a game on this map against Terra. Oh, uh, look at this as well. I mean, like Bomber is still absolutely in the dark. He doesn't know about this army moving out, but this is going to make his life so much easier. Doesn't mean he's out of the woods yet, though, because it's right now it's one siege tank against two. If Major sees, oh, Major's actually gonna siege up over here. He I gets in, ra he can Dude, get in he range can, of steam. Yeah, he can get in range oh of steam. The factory and bomber. All of a sudden, my supply depot sees something funky. All right, well, I mean the two Vikings are gonna I'd help like to out see a lot. Of PDDs. Uh, okay, auto turrets. Sorry, I would have preferred to see seeker missiles on those siege tanks. I Major's think the not gonna be able to push too far on this. Yeah, the PDD is so important because this means that the Vikings from bomber will always win oh, supreme. He, he should be able Marines. to kill the Metafax. <laughs> oh, those Marines. There's no Google. way out for us, boys. Nope. All right, so Bomber actually, it's so sick how this guy just does not scout. That was a fantastic defense by Bomber. But somehow defense perfectly. It's like, Bomber, you did not scout once this game. Why do you not take any damage? Bomber is a very difficult man to kill, yep. that's for sure. And now, of course, Bomber's just going to wait until until this scan runs out. Oh, Hellion run by in the natural. Widowmind picks off one of them. He's going to get some SCVs here, so Major's going to get something. Yeah, he's actually going to get quite a bit over here, Nate. Right? I think he should be able to get like six, seven SCVs or so. He does better with this than he did with the drop. 12 SCVs have gone down throughout the game. 13 now, 14. Uh, doesn't get number 15, but still, that was a very good run by the Major. That's still going to catapult him ahead. Yeah, not uh, Eight workers in this game. So, Major has the economic lead at the moment. He's up about yeah. mm, nine or so workers. However, Bomber does have that third command center advantage. Yep. And Bomber also has a, an army that he can work with a little bit more cost-effectively with a lower unit count. So yeah, I kind of Major prefer Bomber's be position. Yeah, like, even though he lost careful. a few SCVs more than I think he would have liked to. I mean, the income tab tells the story, Roddy. Yep. He's, he's, still re he's still raking in that cash with his mules. Good old mule button. 
Of course, the bomber doesn't really have to drop any scans because he's bomber. Yeah, those TVT scans are all for the late game, baby. Blue Flame is about to finish up, though, so if yeah, those aliens Italians, can get a couple of juicy shots up. Aliens could do like, some work, This Kevin. natural is so incredibly exposed. Yeah, I would actually like to see those Hellions just finish off the rocks. <laughs> There's nothing defending that side. Oh, he dropped. Okay, picks him in the medevac. That's one way to do it. And I think that, uh, I mean, like, Bomber saw that was a blue flame as well. So you have to be worried now about your middle line if you're Bomber, no? Yeah, I agree. I think uh, these Hellions are going to work on the rocks. Yeah, man. They actually could. You don't usually don't see Hellions yeah, kill I, rocks, but these Hellions... I think that Bomber is about to lose a ridiculous amount of SUVs. Like, if he doesn't end up losing 10, 15 SUVs over here, I don't know what he's been eating this morning, because then it would just make no sense. Of course, Bomber is going to get a very dangerous setup on the other side of the map as well, but I think Major is sort of comfortable with this, as long as he kills a lot of SUVs, and he should be able to do so, he's Nate, with all these Hellions blue flames. He's got in both bases. Blue Flame roasting and toasting some SCVs here, of course. The natural still under siege by bomber however he uh he needs to actually get into his base and do some damage i mean bomber lost again quite a few but he didn't lose as many as i thought he was going to lose i think in the end he lost 10 or so over mm, there 24 total killed oh, okay now bomber's getting a little bit more close to this base yeah. now major has to make some he has to make some life choices Cap. Yep. I think Major was really counting on those seven, eight Hellions doing a little more than they did there in the end. He does pick up the Vikings, so that's good. More Hellions try to run in. Marines are here to accept them and all die in short order. <laughs> one, uh, one, one Marine is going to provide high ground vision now. Major, Major does now have a third command center. Small things to point out. Um, yeah, actually, no more high ground vision. Kind of, Major's kind of lucky. <laughs> Now Major's actually going to get all his tanks, but this is the first time that Bomber scans, and he scouts and scans at the right moment, gets a couple of free shots up on these tanks. We'll still end up losing his, first, his siege tank first, though. A little bit surprised by that. Yeah, and this is uh, so weird. The game sense of these in. guys is so good. They just know when the other player is actually on Dis sieging. Despite everything, Bomber is still up in supply. Uh, is he up in upgrades? Yeah, he's got his 1-1. One -one. Major is actually just now getting his first armory, so he couldn't even use Hellbats or get, you know, attack upgrades, which are incredibly important in this matchup. Bomber is going to have plus one mech attack before Major does. Yeah, Bomber is definitely in a very good position, and it's going to be imp it's going to be difficult for Major, I think, to cover himself everywhere. He doesn't have that many siege tanks yet. He has he has eight of them now. How many Marauders do we have on the field? He's fortunate that I think uh, Bomber is very heavy on the Marines. He doesn't have that many Marauders yet. If the Marauder count was higher. Bomber actually just lost a Marauder. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, how can Bomber just lose a Marauder out of nowhere? Mutiny. Oh, no, Bomber's, yeah, out the, that Bomber's taking the left side third base, which is also yeah. interesting. I messed up the taps. He didn't lose a, uh, he didn't lose a Marauder. But it's still going to be really difficult for Major because Bomber has tanks as well. Bomber's putting himself in an okay-ish position. And above all, he has so many bio units to work with that I think if he picks these units up soon and flies to the main base, that will be so difficult for Major to deal with. And actually, yeah. these tanks are in range of the orbital, Nate. This is really rough. This kind of feels like that Roach Hydra situation, right? Like, yep. like can't I can't attack into it, but uh, you can still hit my base. No, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Now, Mage is forced to evacuate this base for now. He's still up 14 workers, but he's just not really mining with the majority of them. And he has to worry about all these bio points from Bomber. Bomber's going to sim forward. There are a lot of tanks, though, Bomber. You want to be careful. <laughs> the bloodbath. That tank volume. That is actually so many Marines in this yeah. army of Bomber that the, the Hellions, the Blue Flame Hellions, do a surprising amount of damage. Yeah, he just lost, uh, I think, a solid 10 or 15 Marines over there. But I think I still think it's very good for Bomber. He is actually, uh, he retreated with his tanks after he lost his bio units. Yeah, some Hellion run by it's trying to happen. Of course, that's not where the third base is. It's really nice because it makes the rally path for the bio uh, defend its third base while simultaneously attacking the third yeah. of his opponent. Yeah, that makes so he much sense. He doesn't have to worry about Hellion run bys. Major. Uh, Brilliant decision. Yep. Probably. And his plus one mech is done actually too. I'm not sure if Major is aware of this army in the middle of the map. Complete. He's going to see it soon. He will see a marine. I think he's going to reposition. He's got his barracks floating over there, so maybe it'll give him some vision. All of the tanks are out of position though. Yeah. He was ready for that big attack. Now he's starting to move his army over. He's turning to Hellbats. But these tanks, man, he's gonna he's like st stimming to kill these rocks. Yeah, okay. In the end, Major will still be there. I mean, if time. he denies high ground vision, he's gonna lose Oh, Ooh, all his Vikings. Vikings. Well that changes everything. Now the Medivac can just push itself forward. You just kinda camp and get yeah. vision. And Major was still a little bit of position as well with these tanks, because Bomber is getting all these free shots off. And he picked off a couple of tanks there as well. 
Uh, I think it's just how many missile turrets do we have over here? We have a couple, but I still think that it's inevitable that we are going to see a big drop in the near future. Okay, Major is getting a... Uh, it's oh. actually... Wow. Not getting that plus one attack actually really hurt him because it t only takes... Uh, yeah. His plus one's about to finish, but it only takes three shots for Bomber's tanks to kill Major's tanks, and it takes Major's tanks four shots to kill Bomber's. And I think in a situation like this, it's actually... Yeah, Bomber got a couple of way better traits off yeah, there. Yeah, it's and really just difficult. Tank. He's kind of lucky he's had that Banshee in production because it was a really nice way to get rid of those, but he needs to prepare now for the next wave. Yeah, there are a lot of tanks for Major. Like, if he's in a good position, and he's still going to be able to do it. Bomber is going to go for it, though. He's going to roll forward with tanks. He has a lot of bio units over here, but doesn't commit, so ends oh, up losing a few. Two in the few. top right as well. Barracks barely sees it. Is Major going to respond in time? Oh, these medevacs. He's got, oh, he's got not really enough of a turret ring, I don't think. Hellions run by into the natural expansion. I'm getting too much. That drop's about to hit the main base. Yep, a couple of SCVs are exposed and will most likely go down. If you would end up losing a whole bunch of Supply Depots, that's actually kind of annoying as well. And these Marauders are going to have a good time. Stim is a little late, but eventually Bomber will Stim. I actually really like this. He's just killing Depots. I think he sees like one of the Supply yeah, he Drops. He could kill the Benji well. over here as well. Gets the Benji, gets so many SCVs. What a successful drop for Bomber. Yeah, this has been nuts. Uh, he tries to move yeah, in. Bomber is so just picking Major apart, I feel. Like. He has yeah. He's all over the place. He's doing a lot of damage. He's actually up in workers now, despite losing so many workers early on. He has killed 51, 52 SCVs in the last few minutes of this game. He has a contain on Major, like how's Major ever supposed to take a fort base? Well, and Major can't rebuild a single unit he's lost because he's actually lost so many depots that despite losing yeah. half of his army supply, he still is supply blocked. <laughs> he's exactly supply blocked. That's like the biggest irony of it all. It's pretty weird. He's gonna break the rocks. He's like, open the gates. We're coming in. Yeah, it's almost up to the point where Bomber can just run into whatever Major has left. It's 80 army and supply. And look at this Mac. army on the left of the third. He's about to break in there too. Yep, and all the reinforcements as well streaming down from the left top side of this map. 13 tanks against only six for uh, Bomber, but of course, his Bomber right now has 20 Marauders, 23 Marauders even. That's such a healthy number. I'm really worried for Major right now. Back at 137 supply. Uh, this is tricky because Bomber can just set himself up wherever Bomber's taking his fourth base. Major doesn't, uh, you can see he does have a fourth command center on the way. Hmm. Yeah, but where is he going to take it? And how is he going to secure that base? Yeah, that's also a very, very good question, Rotterdam. I am not sure. Major's got, uh, yeah, I just, I don't think he can defend against this next drop, too. Nope. He drops on the tanks. Uh, he has a few tanks on the high ground already. All right, the that's... Viking movement was nice, okay. Yeah. Could have been, could have gone ugly very quickly. Major's gonna try to grind this one out. I mean, the power of mech, if you can get, if you can max out, there's always a chance. Yep. That is definitely true. Even though Bomber has a very nice bank for himself, has, of course, great infrastructure. This bench is really annoying. There's no anti-air over here. All the Marines are out of position, so Major gets one tank, and I don't think he's gonna get the second one, but at least he uh, makes it sure makes sure that it drops in HP quite a bit. Nice yeah. pick-off for later on in this game, Nate. Yep, yep. Major's... Uh, well, actually, okay. So Major can't build it. He lost his floating barracks. So he can't build any more factories or orbital commands. Bomber's adding on macro orbitals now, too, which is really nice. He's, Bomber's even getting a Thor. So with the Thor, Bomber basically erases all threats of their of the Banshees, because one Thor can Look at this do lots of damage. This Widowmine has been here since, like, the beginning of the game. He killed, like, two scouting SCVs. So brave. Now he kills the Hellion. <laughs> Same time, all these buy units on the right side. Of, okay, I mean, Bomber is in a fantastic position. Major is going to take this fort base over here in the middle. I, I think that makes a little bit of sense. Meanwhile, there are Hellions. Major is fighting bed. back, man. Major has yeah. actually started to stabilize. The big problem is, is he exposing that right flank again? Yeah, he actually still has a good amount of siege tanks, but if he bum rushes this, yeah, I'm still I nervous. I mean, four tanks is okay ish, but. If Bomber goes all out, and it kind of looks like he wants to go all out, it's going to be really hard for Major to stabilize over here. There are so many bio units running in, and at the same time, I think Major is going to just counterattack. He realizes that it's going to be too late to save his main base. He left actually a couple of tanks over here as well. He killed a lot of bio, but in the end, he's still going to lose pretty much everything over here. Yep. Bomber is getting into the production of Major. He's got a tank or two left back behind, but looking over here... Yeah, there's a planetary fortress on the fourth base, which will make it difficult to break. He could actually just park the Banshee there. He's going to spend a lot of... He's going to lose all his Hellions, I think, actually trying to crack this planetary, even if he even if he does manage to break it. The time that that planetary is bought for him will allow Bomber to secure his natural again. 
these two tanks will hold strong for now, picking up a couple of these bio units. But like you said, there are so many forces over here for Bomber as well. Like, you know, what is the worst that could happen for Bomber that he has to take the entire left bottom side of the map? Well, so be it. He could even lift up, of course, all his production facilities as well and then just remake his add ons. Army supply to 96 against 77, so that is sort of close. But Bomber is so much richer and I feel like just has so much of a bigger comfort zone than Major has. Yep, Bomber, Major can't even use his Vikings anymore to get vision because the Thor is out on the map and that's uh, very nice for him, very nice. Bomber's like, okay, let's load all these macro orbitals on the left side too. <laughs> He's got bases for days. Yep, won't run out of command centers, that's for sure. I've no idea how this tank from Bomber ended up over here in the dead zone of Major's tanks, but somehow it got there. Major has a couple of tanks left, gonna try to siege up. But the Marauders are just going to avoid this tank range for now. I think that this Orbitor is going to live. Oh, a couple of Marauders being dropped in the dead zone. Gets uh, all three siege tanks, I guess, in the end. Well, not if he shot shooting at the SMBs, but still good enough for Bomber. He's going to clean up pretty much some of the last forces of Major, at least defensive forces. Major still has this tank hit squad in the middle of the map, but tanks are good, Nate, but tanks without any additional support at all, it's going to be hard to win games with that. Especially because yeah. they don't shoot up. Yep, this is looking pretty, pretty bad for Major. He's what is what does he actually have on the map? That army is not necessarily terrible. He's got some forces in his main base, but the big problem is he has a single orbital command. I guess Bomber's not really mining much either. No, but Bomber can start mining soon because I feel if Bomber uh, wants. As long as Major keeps Vikings on the map, there's a chance he can make this. Oh, uh, it's well, I guess now that this base take. Oh. That's a lot of your, that's like all your economy, Bomber! Oh my god, no! Oh, oh. my god, 20 kills on the Hellbat! Oh, oh no, he's god. surrounding it! Well, it's still enough to saturate this base with mules, but yikes! <laughs> that SCV stack, that was beautiful. Those, those SCVs have like no health, too. How many Hellions are on the map? Uh, it's got like five, okay. Yeah, it's like, Maybe you right. could go in for the assassination later on that. But these orbitals that are all stretched around the map also, like he can start mining off that southwest base. Um, man. I mean, how many orbitals is Bomber this, working on? This off? Banshee is very important, but there's still a Thor on the map. Bomber has four orbital commands. Like he can just start, drop mules like cra start dropping mules like crazy on this base. And yeah. Even if those mules only mine for like a minute or so, it's already fantastic. Mage is going to research Cloak, which normally is not a bad, uh, bad investment in a poor game, but... You know, there are so many orbital commands, so I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But of course, you know, Banshees could perhaps make the difference because Major does have a superiority with all these Vikings. Yeah. Uh, Bomber's turning that command center in the bottom left into a planetary fortress. If Major finds that, if he can just run into it, he can uh. take it out without much trouble. But that's a base that technically, you know, Major's supposed to get. I think he's building SCVs from the command centers next to it, too. <laughs> Major's going to go for an attack. This is... Well, if the I mean, doors and the tanks aren't here, then maybe he can... I mean, if, if Bomber messes up, if he stims all of these bio units into a tank position where Major is actually ready to receive them, then Bomber can definitely lose this game. Otherwise, he shouldn't. He's up a lot of supply, he's up in bases, he has a better economy, because above all, it's four orbital commands against one. Like, that is massive. Yeah, Major just needs to keep this Banshee outside the range of those Thors, that Thor. These SCV rally points on the bottom side of the map are really cute. Yeah, it's a lot of extra economy for him. Oh, he's almost in range of the Thor. Tank is actually blocking his position. Every tank he kills is really important in this stage of the game. He's got Cloak now, too. 15 tanks against 6, but 22 Marauders. I feel that's a real game changer. I really like him abusing the position of these siege tanks. Every tank is so important right now because I don't think he can fight all of this together at once. This Thor. This Thor is actually sleeping on a job. Too many mules, man. He called down so many mules. Oh, there's Thor. Banshee escapes for now. Could have been, could have been ugly. I like these marine stim. Marauders are blocking them. <laughs> He's actually I mean, on hold position, so he doesn't get baited. Another banshee comes up. Right. There's another scan. Okay, Vikings so, actually yeah, shoot down one banshee. Now he's got Vikings. Oh. I mean, Major still has more Vikings, so he has that going for himself, which is nice. But Bomber is out mining Major. Major, if he would know about this base, he could probably just send like one blue flame yeah, helium on the high ground. Major or... just doesn't have the income to keep up because both of these players were even in supply a little while ago. But now, now Bomber's just taking all these mules, man. He's taking that mule hammer and he's crafted it into one uh, one hell of an army. And even if he trades two Vikings for one Benchy all the time, then it's okay for Bomber because he's still out mining Major anyway. So. Yep. I think he's uh, he's in a lot of trouble, man. This siege tank in like the top left position. He doesn't know about this planetary. This planetary is too good. Yeah. 
the, the tank was so close. Like, if he would have known, he could have repositioned that tanks and he could have actually prevented Bomber from dropping all those mules at this base and transferring all these SUVs. At the same time, Major is still trying to make something work over here. He's picking up a couple of Vikings left and right, but I'm afraid he's just not going to be able to make the difference. This Bomber is just a little too rich, I feel. Yeah. Marines Marauders are going to push Great the only mining there. base of Major, and I think Bomber has just about done it to Major. No more income, what can he really do? Really great counter attack by Bomber as well. Of course, he could be worried, he could be paranoid about this army, but he's like, nah, you don't really have all that much. As soon as I have enough tanks in a good defensive position, I'm just going to start attacking yeah, again. Major's and Major's going to be revealed now. Yeah, and that's, it's, this it's is a great it. attack. It really is a phenomenal. I think those are the last two SUVs as well. It's two SUVs remaining on this map. Yeah, he can't even afford to build anything. He'd have to can he could cancel some Hellions, but I don't think that's gonna be that's I don't think that's gonna be the game changer. It's now or never for Mage's last remaining tanks, but uh, he doesn't even want to try. He knows what time it is. GG is called Bomber wins a very entertaining, exciting game number one on King Sejong Station, which was pretty back and forth. A couple of times things were looking alright for Major after he picked off a lot of the SUVs. But in the end, Bomber, I think with the drops in the main and I especially think when he forced Major to attack him and they started base trading it just looked so much better for bomber already i feel that bomber was always one step ahead because of something a couple of the things that happened early game and uh, after that he was just sort of in control otherwise it would have been a lot closer i think i i, I liked major's play for most of the game like as a mech player being behind on supply being behind on workers is not necessarily you know bad because we saw a few times where bomber Went a bit, a bit from further than he needed to, and he, he did blow a lot of his uh, bio supply, kind of you know, th you know, in the air, I guess, when you're getting hit by siege tanks, making those pokes. But hmm. I mean, the first push didn't really work out for Major. Like Bomber, no. his opening was very greedy, very Bomberish, you know, and tri uh, triple command or triple orbital command, no scout at all. Still has units in position. Didn't really lose all that much. Shut down the medevac, cleaned up the tanks, and I think as soon as Bomber started attacking, he did a really good job in finding openings. He got so many SV kills from putting his tanks on the low side of the debris, on those two mineral patches. Like, in a certain point, like the, the Hellion run bys, they were great for Major, and they definitely did some work. He got 25 SV kills in a certain phase in the game. He's like, all right. But the moment that Bomber actually started killing SVs, it went like from 0 to 52 in like in, in yeah. a two minute period. Yeah, I, I think uh, big, big things to note for that game. The early push is a really important thing that you mentioned because when Bomber went in and got on top of Major's base, he just handled it so well. Um, yeah, I didn't like the auto turrets that he threw inside of Bomber's base either when he moved in with the Raven. Yeah. I, I, I always prefer this. If you can secret missile the tank, then that allows you to drop your Marines behind the mineral line. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens in game number two. We've seen a nice little bit of aggression to kick things off. That last game, man, definitely going the distance. Quite a long one. This guy in the bottom left, he wants to tie things up. He wants to bring things to a 1-1 standstill. Representing Root Gaming and Mexico, he is Major. The loser of this series will, of course, have to go up against Joey Flashwolf's uh, Slam, who made an impressive, uh, or made a phenomenal imp uh, impression on us so far today, I guess. I'm losing it, Nate, like, oh, my, my brain, it's StarCraft overload of all these days, but Slam looked really good today, and the loser of this series is going to have to go up against him, against him. For Bomber, that would be the second time of the day. First time, it definitely wasn't easy. He definitely, uh, he really had to work for it. He was sweating a little bit, so I think Bomber would just love to win this series, as he's, of course, the Red Terran on the right top side of the map. Because I don't think uh, he wants to go through that hassle one more time. I don't think either of these players want to go up against Slam after what happened in the last uh, the last series. Because he, yeah, he lost to Bomber, but you said it, man. He was sweating. That was not an easy victory by any means. And Major, like I touched on before, especially the last couple times we saw him play, and I'd say even double especially, his series against Violet in uh, round of 16 in last season of WCS Premier. He had a lot of trouble against Roach base builds and Roach Hydra and whatnot, and I, I can't say that there's like a clear, easy way to deal with it because you know you want to you want to get your economy up and not prepare for something that might potentially not even come. Couldn't agree more. Either way, score currently, of course, 1-0 in favor of Bomber. If Bomber wins this, then this would be the third time in a row that he makes it to WCS America round of 16. 
Of course, season one, he made it to the quarterfinal, lost against Alicia, and last season he was our runner-up. So overall, I think it's been a pretty good decision for Bomber to switch to uh, WCS America this year, Nate. Gathered a lot of WCS points, collected quite a bit of prize money here and there. And uh, if you weren't a fan of Bomber yet, I think it's hard to say that you're not a fan of him. After watching all his interviews over here, his phenomenal run last season. He's just a very likable guy. He's, he's very friendly and funny. He's actually, yeah. he's funnier off camera than he is on camera. But I think even on camera, yeah, he, he will make you chuckle every now and then. Yeah. A little bit of a smile, like, ha, good old Bomber. Good old Bomber. Very confident, very confident player indeed. And he's going with the very fast, of course, factory build this game, Major. Getting to scout that is quite nice for him. The starport's on the way for Bomber now as well. And it's it's actually kind of similar builds between the two of these guys. Just this time around, Major's like, well, I'm not going to go gas first, but I'm still going to get fast gas. I'm still going to take a quick second gas, and we might even see, once again, some Raven play. I like also, Banshee play, too. Yeah, he could also switch it up and try to open up with the Banshee, even though, of course, last game, both players opened up with a Raven. And you could say, you know, if, both, if, if you know that your opponent is capable of doing that oh. or... Look ah, at this. How, how often have we seen Bomber do this? He blocks uh, he blocks the main base ramp with this barracks and factory just to make sure Hellion run by can't get him, which leads me to believe that he's going to open up with a Banshee. Yeah, he's gonna he's not going to have too much back home, so he wants to But it's not Cloak defend. Banshee because he's only in a single refinery. Yep, so he's still expanding with this build. And it's more, it, I, I don't know how I feel about this because a lot of builds do have like a Viking built in. Yeah. Even against a Raven, like not getting close. Banshee doesn't course, really nice, come as a surprise in TVT. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. So you're not going to catch anyone off guard. You're not going to throw on, uh, you're not going to throw out a Banshee without Cloak and expect to get hit. Cool tweet from StarCraft. We're thrilled to have Newegg as their official WCS America sponsor. We are I thrilled as well. I think we all are. Yeah. It's hard not to be thrilled about something as cool as that. Yeah. So this is a sponsor that actually just makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, uh... It's like not a tire company or something. It's like, well, <laughs> it's like, it's cool like, well, it's like, well, you know, I like Goodyear, but I'm not sure yeah. it's necessarily <laughs> relevant. <laughs> If you guys want to make sure you're home in time to play video games tonight, make sure to always get Goodyear tires. <laughs> like, I'm sure we could spin it one way or the other, but Newark just makes a little bit more sense. Well, you, why would you need to leave your house if you just get it delivered to your door, man? Boom. What do you say? Why, why would you need to leave your house and use a car if you can just get stuff delivered? That's, Ooh, good that's what Newark's for. Well, I would love to see Neo Newegg deliver me to the office every day to cast Starcraft, but I think that's <laughs> well, going to be difficult. There's that too. So the Banshee comes in, of course, without Cloak for Bomber. Now, Major, despite opening up with a Raven, is still, you know, he's gonna he's got a Banshee himself, and we're going to see a little bit of Cloak action from him. Bomber's Raven will not be out in time to deal with this, though. Yeah, actually, it's surprising to see uh, Major opening up with the Cloak Banshee as well. I was carried away by all the new egg punts. There's one little widow mine is wiggling his way across the map, and that could actually be sort of frustrating for. Bo oh, oh, Major! Really nice pickup for Bomber. Wow, that is not supposed to happen. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, the widow mine <laughs> is gonna kill a widow mine! You guys I like thought I've never seen this! Widow mine on widow mine action? Yeah! <laughs> That's a first for me. I have actually not seen that yet. I've been on the wrong end of that one a few times. <laughs> now this Banshee is gonna take revenge for his Widowmine friend. It's okay, I know what you did to my Widowmine. <laughs> that was probably the most useless trade in history for both of them. A Widowmine for a Widowmine. But it still made me very happy. Of course, it's a terrifying lo or like a horrible loss for Major to lose your Cloak Banshee. It's quite an investment in this phase in the game. Yep. To open up with Cloak Banshees, and I feel that Bomber opening up without Cloak even got more money for his investment than Major got. I wonder if Major's going to try to... Uh, I feel like he almost has to push soon. Thing is, Major's build is not necessarily bad, but Bomber's got his extra production up so quickly that he's just going to outscale him uh, with his bio production because of how cheap it is. And Major, and he's also adding on two barracks. So he is simply... Like, they're doing the same thing. Major is simply behind, except he's built a few more Banshees. And these Banshees actually need to be like big playmakers now. Yeah, and I mean, if there is one thing that Bomber has shown us in Red Bull Battlegrounds Atlanta is that he's very capable of dealing with situations in TVT when he's under pressure. For some reason, he just makes all the correct calls. And we really thought he was down and out against Polt on this map because he was contained. He was down in workers, he was down in bases, and he was down in army supply. It's like, well, there's not really anything else you can be down in, uh, Bomber. Somehow he turned it around and actually was able to win the game. Of course, he got a little fortunate because that's kind of what you need. But in general, Bomber is really good in shutting stuff like that down. 
and he doesn't panic. Never Damn. panics. Bomber always keeps his squad straight. He's a true, he's a true veteran, true professional. This Banshee from Major flies right into the Viking and the Raven. Of course, Banshees outrun Ravens. So even though that Viking moves at the same speed, Banshee should throw down a scan if he really Banshee wants should to. be able to escape. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for gold, and he scores. Bomber is like, damn it, I really hate scanning. <laughs> it's like, man, it's like you, it's like you must really irritate Bomber if you can get him to scan you. <laughs> yeah. Bomber was sure thinking about it. He's like, I could just drop a meal. He's like, now just kill the Banshee Bomber. Go for the guaranteed damage. He's like, well, I don't really like my extra meal. Bomber, you're rich enough. Don't worry about it. I think He's only on two orbital commands this time, though, so he doesn't yeah, actually have that many fast, scans available. This is a very fast five racks play. He could he could end up just exploding in production really soon, yeah, that's and a then just do what, do what Bomber does and just try to hammer it down because Major is way behind in the production. He's been behind on the production all game long. Major has a small army supply advantage though. Uh, Bomber has Stim already. Stim is halfway down. Major is probably going to try to take this position again, which he tries to do in pretty much every single TVT. But it seems like Bomber is going to pick up and it throws down the scan. Uh, Major throws down the scan as well and Bomber needs to wait for his reinforcements. So Major is fine for now. We'll have one tank. I want a Seeker uh, Missile. Could seeker, be great now, right? Seeker that tank. I want it. There we go. Double you know. Seeker guarantees the tank kill, but... Major can do the exact same thing. Yeah, he could. Oh, Bomber. Oh, Bomber does have stim, and Major does not, but <laughs> without combat shield, those Marines die really yeah. fast, Roddy. Yeah, actually, Bomber lost a lot of Marines already. This Raven is maxed out on energy now. Major could drop the Seeker missiles, but he wants to save them. There's the medevac, though. I think if he drops the Seeker missiles, yeah, Bomber's just gonna, he's just going to pick the tank up and move there's, it. There's not too much going on. Bomber will obviously take care of that. Yeah. He doesn't want to lose the Raven, yeah, though. That'd be very bad. Wants to stim forward. He could oh. drop the PDD like a last... Yeah, safe I, resort. If, he, if I thought I could get it, man, I'd always trade a Viking for a Raven. Mm -hmm. But I think if the shot would be in the air, Major is fast enough to still drop the PDD. Yeah. We know he's fast. Intense game, man. Intense game. But Bomber still, he's just chugging ahead on that macro. And he is up. Supplies. This is really awkward, this is though, because in. if Major retreats, there's a chance he ends up losing that, uh, that Raven. Uh, yeah. If Bomber would have chased. Bomber doesn't want to get caught out on the field against sieged tanks, which makes sense. So let's see. Bomber has uh, plus one armor about to finish. Major has plus one attack. They both have, you know, the first attack upgrade. But Bomber's marine count Ooh. should start to snowball a little harder now because that three five that five barrack setup is really starting to pay off for him. Yep, Major is investing in a third command center now as well. While I feel this is sort of the phase in the game where, Bo where Bomber wants to fight. Seeker missile is going down on the marine. The marines actually died, but still the seeker missile does quite a bit of damage. Overall, feel still feel that it's been a good fight so far for Bomber. Yep. That secret missile actually. It's yeah. a lot more damage than I was expecting. Uh, Bomber still no third command center. I think he's either going to go for a really big push right now and build a third behind this, or I or he's going to do this. This is also <laughs> one way to do it. Bajor has perfect map vision. He actually he has an, a perfect... Okay, now he's moving that Banshee over, but let's say he had perfectly linked vision chain of uh, everything yeah. up until... He saw the Metafax, I believe, with his Metafax on the left top side of the map. Gonna yeah. close oh, he's eye. entering the vision of the tower, too. Yeah. Like, Bomber. Major should know what Bomber's up to now. He's bringing his whole army in. Yep, he sees that Metafax as well on the left top side of the map. He's hiding it at first. He wants Bomber to commit to this. He wants Bomber to drop the forces. Of course, Major, oh, be careful. Don't overplay your hand. Now I still feel the units are a little bit out of position. Is Bomber going to siege up? Yes, he is. A couple of the tanks are really exposed. A good pickup there by Bomber. Yeah, this is really frustrating for Major, though, because oh. the Marines are behind his mineral line. He's going to kill a ton of workers. Even these medevacs are in pressure. I mean, this Bomber has... like uh, It's, it's just tricky because all Major ha the only advantage Major ever had in this game was that third command center, and that is really not that much when you lose this many workers. Nope, and look at all the reinforcements streaming across the map as and well. And he's got 1-1 one, one versus yeah. just plus one attack. And that's why these Marines are doing so phenomenally over here for Bomber. He picked off so many SVs already. He's going to get the Siege tank. Look how much money he's getting for his drop. This is insane. So much damage being done. This is game-ending damage. Yep. Bomber's got this. GG. Major wow. taps out. And Bomber advances. Unfortunate there, I feel, for Juanito. Because he saw the drop coming. And what you often want to do is like you want to pretend like you don't know about it. So you want your opponent to commit and then stim forward and then snipe it all. But it seems like he was a little bit paranoid. Maybe he thought he was being faked out. Or he just like he played too greedy and kept the units too far back. Because Bomber is, of course, so quick. He drops everything. He unseizes everything in the main. And, man, did he do well with those Marines and those tanks. And like you said, the 1-1 upgrades as well against the 1-0. It's hard.
Yeah, that was uh, that's a difficult position to be put in. I think you look at the way that it started and you just say, hey, I'm going to open up with a Banshee for Bomber. Doesn't get Cloak. Gets a faster command yeah. center. Picks off a few workers here and there. And then everything just snowballs once Major's look, early look pressure fails. Look at the tank pickup, by the way. Look at the tank. The one tank is like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he wasn't even really above him, man. He like used the magnet. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, and there's this position, right? The tanks don't need to do anything other than isolate these forces. And then with more medevacs, with better upgrades... Yeah. And look you're, at you're this fight. Not, you're not going to kill Bomber's little force here. Like, normally it looks like Major has, like, sort of enough Marines when he starts, especially when he pulls the SVs as well. But these Marines from uh, Bomber, they traded so effectively. Yeah. Of course, he had the uh, medevacs. So now. many medevacs with that plus one armor, and it's, uh, it does make a huge deal. It does make a huge deal, especially when you have so few Marines fighting. So congratulations to Bomber, and thank you, Bomber, as well, because I did pick you on my ESL Fantasy Gaming team. Yes. <laughs> Gaining ranks, Nate, every single day. It's not been a perfect season for me. I think I had five out of eight group winners correct, so that is, like, okay-ish. It should have been six out of eight. Like, I'm really mad about that, because that was actually, like, I have no idea why, how that happened. I should have had heart. I really thought I had heart. Either way, congratulations to Red Bulls Bomber, and I'm very excited to welcome him once more to Southern California. Hopefully he doesn't want to stay in my room again for three weeks, because I do kind of like having my own desk and my own PC. But it was a lot of fun having him around next time. He's a guy that we get along very well with, and I think he's very fun to watch. He has such a cool place now. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to hang out with Bomber again when he gets here for the round of 16. Really awesome to see. I think a lot of people are going to be happy, of course, to have Bomber mm -hmm. in advance. We have one more series left to determine if we're going to have the Taiwanese Zerg player advance or a Mexican Terran player who has one more chance. Ladies and gentlemen, after the break, WCS America Premier League resumes with the final match of the day. It's Major versus Slam. We'll be right back.